My next guest is a comedian and the host of Totally Biased with W. Kamau Bell on FX. Here's a segment on police harassment. Let's take a look. I'm tired of being searched. Like, I wouldn't be searched by ladies. If it was ladies' cops, <laughs> I wouldn't mind they could search me every day. Do you dress like this for your job or so you don't get stopped and frisked? <laughs> <laughs> what if every time they stopped you, they gave you a soda and they called it like pop and frisk? Pop and frisk. That'll be tight. <laughs> Would that make it better? Well, pop and lock. I don't pop, know. Uh, oh, 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 look at you. Look at you. What if every time they stopped you and uh, to frisk you, every sixth time you got a free Subway sandwich? Would that make it better? You no. No? Okay. Or if you're really good, they give you a spanking afterwards. <laughs> she, lo oh. she loves girls. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that part out. Thank no, you. we won't. Don't edit that part out. Please let them tell you, come out now. First thing I want to hear, you're on a bit of a mission, which is to break down racial stereotypes. Yes. Uh, uh, on your show. Do you feel like you are getting through to your audience? Do you feel like you're having an, uh, uh, an effect? Well, uh, the show, the FX show, Totally Biased, grew out of my solo show. It's called The W. Kamau Bell Curve, Ending Racism in About an Hour. Right. Which we did every time. Right. Yes. It just takes one hour to end racism. <laughs> Except when people leave, they become more racist immediately. So that's the <laughs> <laughs> If we could lock them in the room. But yeah, so it grew out of that show. But, and I would do the show a lot, and people would like it and dig it. And I thought, oh, I'm actually making a difference. And then after one show one time, a woman came up to me after the show. A white woman was like, this show is great. I loved it. I just had to tell you one thing. You look like the monkey from the Rugrats. You're kidding. No. And I was like, you had to tell me? You had to tell me? I think you could probably never have told me that. So that's one of the rules we're going to put in the show. Uh, don't tell black people they're like monkeys. Yeah. I never I, thought we had to start ending racism at that early point, yeah. Well, well, okay, what is the racial makeup of your audience in the beginning, would you say? Well, at first, uh, when we started doing the show, it was all, it was because it's theater, it's mostly white people, and it sort of felt like court testimony. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I think I need to get some brown people in here. So we started an offer where if you bring a friend of a different race, you get in two for one. Interesting. Yes. How did that work out? It was great. Not even Martin Luther King Jr. did that. I have to say that. <laughs> so you, you like to go out of your way to perform in very white cities. Is that true? Yeah. Like, you know, you got to go to where you need it. You know, it's like jokes without borders, you know, that kind of thing. Right, so, right. Uh, so, yeah, I went to Madison, Wisconsin, which is a... <laughs> Madison, was, yes, there, yes. Uh, yes, a very white city, as you can tell by that yell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a black person. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, yeah, so I went to Madison, Wisconsin. I did the show. I actually went to a rally called the Fighting Bob Fest, which is a very political, lefty rally. And a lot of great speakers were there. Tom Hartman, Cornel West, a lot of people. And after the, after the rally, people were coming to me and saying, thank you for coming. And I was like, that's weird. I didn't perform. Everybody's thanking me for coming. I'm like, thank you. And then finally this guy was like, it's so important you're here. I was like, oh, man, these people think I'm Cornel West. <laughs> We actually have a split screen of you and Cornell West. I think it was, oh, there's Cornell. Yeah, it was yes. a split. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Anyway. Uh, That's really insulting to both of us. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, you majored in school. You majored in political science. Is that no, correct? No, no, no. People always think that. I actually majored in East Asian studies in college. Oh. Because I like Bruce Lee a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that really the reason that you majored in East Asian Studies? Yeah, I went to college and I just like, I like Bruce Lee a lot. What major is close to liking Bruce Lee a lot? Ass kicking. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They didn't have that at the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> so I picked East Asian Studies and I found out about a year and a half, like, yeah, this isn't getting me closer to Bruce Lee. Uh, but I did take a year and a half of Chinese and I, I, I learned everything I need to know, you know. Okay, what did you learn? Uh, Wohun hao, ni nu, wohun gao, mao bi, which basically means... I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine. I'm very tall. <laughs> Pencil. 